Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics. You know that Jelly Roll rugs are one of our favorite things to do here at Shabby Fabrics. If you have not already tried making one of these, you're going to love it. Now, I did a video some time back on how do you make this rug. Of course, the designer of the original Jelly Roll rug pattern gave us permission to show you a lot of the elements of that. A couple of things she asked us to kind of not mention because of course she wants to protect her awesome pattern. So, uh, we continue to make Jelly Roll rugs and since the release of the Jelly Roll rug pattern, new notions have come onto the market to make the process even faster. So, I have been looking for notions that help speed up the process of making kind of the ball of the Jelly Roll strips, the katahdin, katahdin, whatever you decide to call it, that basically create this ball that you then uh, sew together to make the rugs. So if that's completely foreign to you, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go search for the Jelly Roll rug uh, video. You'll be able to see me do that process. And in that process, you would have seen the Jelly Roll strips, how we join them together, how we use the batting. This is a beautiful two and a half inch strip, continuous 50 yard uh, roll of uh, it's called katahdin, katahdin, whatever you want to call it. It's 100% organic um, batting from Bozel. I love it. And you would have seen me use these Wonder Clips. That's how we made both of these rugs. But as I said, new notions have come onto the market that have helped us speed up the process. And in that event, you would no longer be using the Wonder Clips, but instead, I'll show you this cool new notion. Now, this is called Jerry's Jelly Roll Jig. The name is hard to say, but the product is awesome. So let me demonstrate it for you. And of course, I'll just be demonstrating on a small strip of a Jelly Roll strip and a piece of the batting. And you'll see how that works together. All of the other steps that I would have shown you in the longer video are still relevant. This is just, again, a step that will really speed up the process of having to clip unclip, clip and unclip continuously while you're spinning your ball that will eventually become your rug. So inside your package, it'll look like this. Uh, you have this uh, tool. It's got a really cool kind of design in here and I'll show you how that works and why it works beautifully. So far, I feel like this is probably one of my favorite tools to use whenever I'm making a Jelly Roll rug. I, I imagine there may be more notions coming in the future, but right now this is my one of my, probably my favorite. So I wanna show you this real quick. You get these two strips in here. Now this is really important for you to keep track of. So whenever you're not using these, and I'll show you how to use those momentarily, just be sure you put these back in the plastic bag and put those away in a safe drawer. It would be really easy to throw these away inadvertently. And because they're so clear, you might not even notice it. So there's two sides. One is shiny, I'm trying to do it against a piece of, well, maybe against my hand might be the, the, the clearest way. There's a shiny side and a more opaque side. They kind of talk about that as the rough side. It's that side that is the more opaque, not the shiny side. This is the more, what I would call, or what they call the rough side. That's the side that'll come in contact with your fabric and your batting. So let's put these two things aside. I will go ahead and bring out uh, just a strip of the uh, batting. And of course you would have, you would keep this as one continuous strip. You're not gonna cut that apart, right? You're we're making this one continuous strip. You would have taken your jelly roll apart, arranged your fabrics in the way you want them to be, join them into one big long strip. And what I really recommend is kind of keeping that maybe in a basket underneath your sewing machine so that it's out of your way, but right there near you. So with that in mind, this would be, of course, joined into one big long strip. You'd have a big long strip of your batting. So we have the wrong side of our fabric and you'll put the batting to the wrong side of the fabric. This is where we'll get our, our tool. And I think I put those 
I, I've lost sight of them. There they are. I was like, are those in the bag? Here they are. They're literally, like, as you can see on the table, they literally disappear. So just keep that in mind. You might not even notice they're there and go make a cut and cut them. So as soon as you're done using them, definitely put them away. So we said the shiny side, it's not that side. We want that opaque side. We'll go on the back. And again, that more opaque, not shiny side up, rough side down. And you want to extend that about an inch. Now you've got a couple ways you could either try to feed this in this way, but I'm a little bit blind back here. What I have found personally is I like to feed this in so I can see what's happening. We want to push that through. I'm pinching. And here, see how my hands are, like I'm pinching. Now I've got it. Now simply slip these away. We'll go to our sewing machine. Look how this just, look how it just feeds beautifully. So we'll go to the sewing machine. We'll just fold this over and we'll get started. Now I believe in the pattern, and I don't have that uh, in front of me. I believe they have this pulled down and they have this folded over and you fold. The idea though, the point is to show you how this tool works. So let's go to the sewing machine and I'll show you how now I don't need a clip ever. I'm just gonna line up my batting with my strip. I can see this beautiful scoop and I'm just pulling straight back and look how it just feeds that in. I can just put my finger there, roll it over, and we continue to sew. So let's do that one more time, just so you can see how nice that is. Notice I don't pull out like a whole foot. You want that, look how it just naturally squeezes that together up there. I just put my finger there, smooth it over, and continue. One more time. It's so fun. It's going to, I think, save you at least a third of the time in making the ball, making the big, long strip that you end up winding into this big ball. And continue on and continue on. So you've seen, this is a notion I absolutely believe in. You guys know if you've watched any of my videos that I, I'm presented with so many notions and most I don't select. I only pick the ones that I truly use and believe in. So if you have never tried making a jelly roll rug, this is the time. We have amazing kits, they're beautiful rugs, and these rugs are fantastic. Use them, get them dirty, throw them in the washing machine, dry, and they're just, they're just bulletproof. They, they are really durable. And if you already know how to make a jelly roll rug, you're gonna be excited to make your next one because this tool will absolutely speed up the process. So I'll continue making more videos, looking for more notions for you, and I'll see you next time on a Shabby Fabrics video.